Good evening. Let us discuss today's current affairs. In Karnataka, Kumar Swami is going to become the Chief Minister. As you all know the entire episode, JDS, Janta Dal Secular and Congress are going to form the government and Kumar Swami is going to become the Chief Minister of Karnataka. Yesterday, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has an informal meeting with the Russian President Vladimir Putin. In fact, now the trend is for informal summits. As we all know, last month, Modi had an informal summit with the Chinese Premier in Wuhan, China. Now, the informal summit have continued, the trend have continued with Russia also. India and Russia are considered as all-weather friends. In all circumstances, at all times, they are very close. As Modi told, the strategic partnership between India and Russia has been emphasized by even the former Prime Minister of India, Atul Bihari Vajpayee. As history tells us, India and Russia have strong ties. In 1971, in 1971, India and Russia have cooperation agreement, Treaty of Peace, Friendship and Cooperation. In 1971, India and Russia signed Treaty of Peace, Cooperation and Friendship. And right now, after the disintegration of Soviet Union in 1991, the Soviet Union got disintegrated in 1991. After that, India and Russia had a strong defense ties. As you all know, Brahmos, Brahmos, the supersonic cruise missile, is a collaborative project of India and Russia. Yesterday it was test fired. Brahmos, Brahmos, the supersonic cruise missile, is a collaborative project between India and Russia. And now, Russia is drifting away from India. Many experts are saying that Russia is drifting away from India. Russia is also equally maintaining friendship with Pakistan. In this scenario, Russia is very much needed for India. And also, Russia and India share partnership in Changi Cooperation Organization. Two years back, India became a member in SCO, Shanghai Cooperation Organization. In that, China, Russia, Tajikistan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, India and Pakistan are the members. India and Pakistan are the members. So, India and Russia share partnership in Shanghai Cooperation Organization also. It's a very important news. And uh, our Prime Minister Modi went to Sochi to meet Vladimir Putin. And next important thing, Kerala right now is under new problem. The virus, the new virus have come to Kerala. That is Nipah virus. Third major outbreak of Nipah virus, N-I-P-A-H, Nipah virus. When any virus, Ebola, bird flu, spine flu, anything comes, it is, if it is in news, UPSC might ask the question on that. Nipah virus, N-I-P-A-H. Nipah virus is an infection in the country. It's a zoonotic virus. Z-O-O-N-O-T-A-C. Zoonotic virus means the virus which can be carried between human to humans or animal to humans. Zoonotic virus means the virus which can be carried between human to humans or animal to humans. Nipah virus is a paramyxovirus that was first identified in Malaysia in 1998. Nipah virus is first identified in Malaysia in 1998. The primary mode of transmission of Nipah virus. The primary mode of transmission of Nipah, Nipah virus is human consumption of. When we eat fruits, when we eat fruits which was actually contaminated by bats, Bats, fruit bats, fruit bat is the host of this virus, Nipah virus. Generally, when humans eat the fruits which are contaminated by bats, fruit bats, then humans get the virus. And uh, subsequently, if the person consumes that, the virus will be transmitted to the person. That so the natural host of Nipah virus was fruit bat. The natural host of Nipah virus was Fruit bat. 
Pigs were the intermediate hosts. Pigs, P-I-G-S. Pigs were the intermediate hosts in the outbreaks in Malaysia and Singapore. Yeah, Malaysia and Singapore. So, both animals and humans and uh, it can transmit from animals to humans or humans to humans. That's called Nipah virus. Uh, very interesting news and very important news for films this year. INS Tharini, the all women, there was a naval ship belonged to the Indian Navy called Tharini and all women crew, only women, women went and navigated the globe. It's called globe trotter. Globe trotter means the ship which navigated the entire globe. Globe trotter means the ship which navigated the entire globe. 250 days, 254 days. INS Tarini have circumnavigated the globe in 254 days. India's first all women crew naval ship completed its circumnavigation. Completed it circumnavigation. The, the project name is Navika Sagar Parakrama. The project of INS Tarini is Navika Sagar Parakrama. So we have to remember this very very important. INS Tarini is a crucial thing which you have to remember for the exam. And some interesting facts about INS Tarini. There was a temple in Ganjam district Orissa in the name of Tara Tarini. Generally sailors will pray to this goddess. Sailors will pray to the goddess of Tara Tarini in Ganjam district Orissa. So the ship was named after this goddess Tara Tarini. So it was named as INS Tarini. That was an interesting fact. Apart from that, what do you mean by circumnavigating the globe? We always speak about circumnavigation. What do you mean by circumnavigating the globe? Number one, criteria for circumnavigation. It should cross equator. It should cross equator. Number two, cross all longitudes. It should cross equator. Number two, cross all longitudes. Number three, cover a minimum of 21,600 kilometers. It should cover a minimum of 21,600 nautical miles. It should cover a minimum of 21,600 nautical miles. And some of the other interest, interesting facts about Tarini. Ayanas Tarini was a completely indigenously developed ship. Ayanas Tarini was completely indigenously developed ship. It can harness wind energy also. It can harness wind energy also. It is a glorification of Nari Shakti for women empowerment and awareness relating to the women. It's a glorification of Nari Shakti for women empowerment and awareness relating to the women. This is called INS Tharini. And next, Adivasis in Telangana are in agitation. Their complaint is the benefits of the reservations given by the governments are going to only one tribe called Lambada group. Their complaint is they are not actually reaching to the needy people, particularly aboriginals. So, Adivasis are now in agitative mood in Telangana. They are completely in the agitative mood. So, I have completed the first page of today's paper. Coming to the next pages, we have the 25th biodiversity, 25th century year of the Convention on Biodiversity is being held at Hyderabad. The CBD centenary is being held at Hyderabad that you have to follow and also prehistoric graffiti paintings that also one should follow prehistoric graffiti paintings in Telugu the famous novelist Yadhanapuri Sulochina Rani expired passed away very famous most of her novels also become movies most of her novels also have become movies and uh, she actually wrote many most, most of the literature particularly fairy tales relating to the uh, love stories, all those things and she is very famous in writing novels. Ethan Pudi, Sulochina Rani died yesterday and uh, in Tripura there were floods. 3000 families marooned in the Tripura floods. In Tripura there were floods and 3000 families marooned and uh, Garjan Pahad, G-A-R-G-A-N-P-A-H-A-D. Garchan Pahar Reserve Forest in Orissa. We have Black Panther. 
black panther was detected black panther was detected the wildlife wing of odisha's forest and environment department have recorded the presence of black panther in the forest reserve garjan press pahad forest reserve and black panther or melanic leopard melanic means if the melanin presence is more then it it will the color will become black black panther or melanic leopard so for next year exam you have to prepare about black panther and melanic leopard is a color variant of indian leopard is a color variant of indian leopard very important for exam coming to other articles today if you see miles to go today's hindu paper editorial miles to go this is about uh, the first success of insolvency bankruptcy code this is about the first success of insolvency bankruptcy code that you have the tata steel purchasing the bhushan steel which filed bankruptcy 73% was purchased 73% of the share was purchased here comes the story of insolvency bankruptcy court in india the biggest problem is npas non performing assets npas is the biggest problem in the banking sector today what is this non performing asset when a person takes a loan from the bank if he does not repay it is called non performing asset when for a continuous period of 90 days when for a continuous period of 90 days if the principal amount or interest amount is not paid then it is called a non performing asset and now government of india have taken many steps earlier it started debt recovery tribunals then it have passed surface act the parliament passed surface act 2002 now insolvency bankruptcy court was created to resolve the issues very fast to resolve insolvency and bankruptcy issues very fast but still the recovery rate is very low with respect to nps only 11% of nps were recovered were recovered from the public sector banks and more than 2.41 lakh crores of loans were waived off were written off written off means they were cleared from the balance sheets that's very bad this is about nps non performing assets next article is about the classroom as the instructor's castle the classroom as the instructor's castle this is about the quality of education in india according to this other in india we are teaching cramming and bihearting and we are not creating creative individuals for education system we are not bothering about creativeness in our education system singapore have become on par with america because of their qualitative education system in india amatya sen told education system reaches to the stage in which our society was exactly and in our middle class society we think about just graduation and settlement in the life but we never think about qualitative education and in this ugc has to play a great role and many reforms were suggested to improve education research and training and student feedback research and training in the training process student feedback and teaching hours classroom attendance credit should be given in the classroom attendance all these reforms were suggested next important article on the great asian highway on the great asian highway this article is about india china relations good india china relations actually better the asian way of life in fact good india china relations support betterment in asia in this article they have given various things like number 1 bimstec b i m s t e c bay of bengal initiative for multi sectoral technical and economic cooperation bimstec b i m s t e c Bay of Bengal Initiative for Multi-Sectoral Technical and Economic Cooperation, where we have Bangladesh, India, Myanmar, Sri Lanka, Thailand, 
Bhutan and Nepal. They are the members. But Bimstek is not that, you know, performing that well. Bimstek is not performing that well. Except Bimstek Energy Center and one or two initiatives, Bimstek is not performing well. And we have BBIN, Bangladesh, Bhutan, India, Nepal, Motor Vehicle Agreement, where Bangladesh Nepal road is being constructed. Uh, Bangladesh Nepal roadway goes through India. And again, we have one more thing called Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Next month, in China, Qingdao, Q I N G D A O, we have the Shanghai Cooperation Organization Summit. That's very important for films. All these things, BIMSTEC, Shanghai Cooperation Organization, BBIN are all the important areas for connectivity and more importantly Belt and Road Initiative. China is constructing BRA, One Belt One Road Policy Belt and Road Initiative to which India is not a partner. India is not a partner. India has its own, its own issues on that. Actually, in India-China relations, China is claiming entire Arunachal Pradesh. Indian state of Arunachal Pradesh and uh, in POK, China is constructing a road. Gilgit Baltistan area, China is constructing a CPEC, China Pakistan Economic Corridor. China and Pakistan are very good friends. China and Pakistan are very good friends. So, here this issue also you should take care. And uh, next important article is about elections and democracy. Democracy does not mean just right to vote or right to choose. Democracy is a trust. According to Gandhi, democracy is a trust. And the relationship between the rulers and the rule is trust. And more importantly, rulers represent the people. They don't become rulers to wield power, but to act on behalf of people. Rulers, elected people, they are not just to wield power, but they have to act on behalf of the people. It's very important for exam. Apart from that, in a, for the first state, Meghalaya is the first state. Meghalaya launches India's first social audit law. Meghalaya is the first state to have social audit law. This social audit law, Meghalaya is the first state in India to have social audit law. It is applicable to 11 departments and 21 schemes. It is applicable to 11 departments and 21 schemes. Where people will participate and see social auditing so that corruption will be minimized people participation in the process will be more it's very important Meghalaya launches India's first social audit law there is one more interesting news today in the newspaper China launches relay satellite for mission to moon's far side all the satellites and all the detectors can see only one side of the moon only one side of the moon for the first time China launches a satellite to see the other side of the moon, the far side of the moon. The name of the satellite is Kui Kyo, Q U E Q I A O. This might be your Plim's question. What is the China satellite to see the moon's far side? Q Q Q Q U E Q I A O. China's Q Q Q U E Q I A O spelling is a relay satellite for the countries. Chance mission to see the far side of the moon launch into the space through Long March 4C rocket. The Kyokyong satellite was launched through Long March 4C rocket. Long March 4C rocket. So very important for China. China launched a new satellite, Kyokyong. These are the important current affairs today from the Hindu newspaper. Thank you very much.